Welcome to Routing and Switching Essentials. This is Lab 3.2.4.7, Troubleshooting a VLAN Implementation, Scenario 1. So part 1, so let's go in from the command prompt from each PC, ping between the PCs on the same LAN. So we know that PC1 and PC4 are on the same LAN, or on the same VLAN. Let's go ahead and ping PC4. I'm getting my addresses from the chart in our lab document. So ping 132.17.10.24. Does not work. So let's go and let's double check from PC2. We are going to be pinging PC5 from here. 132.17.20.25. Still nothing. So let's go ahead and hop over to PC3. We're going to ping PC6. Ping 172.17.30.26. And still nothing. So let's go ahead and investigate some of these connectivity issues. Let's go and double check the IP address for each of the PCs. That's 10.21, like it's supposed to be. 20.21, that's correct. 30.23, that's correct. 10.24, that's correct. 20.25, that's correct. 50.26, okay, so PC6 is incorrect. So I'm going to reprogram it with the correct IP address, 172.17.30.26. All right, and it's saved, so we are good to there. Double check the subnet masks. They should all be a slash 24. Slash 24. And so far, they all seem to be a slash 24. So we are good on the subnet masks. So next, let's go ahead and check the correct VLAN. So let's hop over. To, oh, let's go and hop over to one of the routers. Go to its CLI. Let's go to the user exec mode. Let's show VLAN brief. Oh, let's help us by spell show correct VLAN. Brief. So, here, port 11 should be for VLAN 10. It's not configured correctly. 18 is for VLAN 20, that's correct. FA06 is for VLAN 30, that is correct. So let's go ahead and fix FA011 first. So that means we have to hop over to global configuration mode. Navigate to the appropriate interface, FA011. Switch port access VLAN 10. That's it. Let's go ahead and double check to make sure that it is correct. Show VLAN brief. And now 11 is in for 10. 18 is on VLAN 20, 6 is VLAN 30. That is correct. Let's go ahead and hop over to switch 3 and let's verify that. We have to enter user exec mode and we're going to do a show VLAN brief. 11. Oh, we have 6 and 18 flip flopped. So let's go ahead and correct those. We're going to have to hop over to global configuration mode, 
navigate to the first interface. I'm going to do 06 first. Switch port mode. Switch port access VLAN. And we're going to have port 6 access VLAN 30. I'm going to head, go ahead and do interface a thing 18. And that one's, oh, helps by spell it correct. Interface FA0 slash 18. This one is going to be switch port mode or switch port access VLAN, and we want this access VLAN 20. So let's go ahead and let's double check. Show VLAN brief. So 11 is 10. 18 is on VLAN 20, and FA06 on VLAN 30. Now we are good. Now let's go ahead and see if it works. Still nothing. Alright, so still nothing. We've already verified the PCs, we've verified the addresses, we've verified the VLANs. What about the connections between the switches? Let's go ahead and do a show interface and G0 slash 1 is between S1 and S2. So let's go and look at that. G01. It is showing up. Alright, so that's showing that is not a trunk. Are there any other show command that can verify? So show interface question mark. Oh, happened to be that show interface trunk is a plausible command. And right now there are no trunks. So we need to go ahead and set G01 to be a trunk. We have to go into our global config mode, navigate to that interface, interface G0 slash 1, switch port mode trunk. And that's it. That's all we should have to do for setting our trunk. Let's do another show interface trunk just to make sure and now we can see that our gig01 is trunking it's using the 802.1q encapsulation and it's using native VLAN 99 it also is showing the allow 10, 20, 30, and 99 on that port so let's go ahead and double check the connection between S1 and S3 So we're going to go ahead and do the show int trunk command and G02 shows it's uh, a trunk, shows it's 99, that's, that's good. So switch 2 and switch 3 have been verified, let's double check, let's verify switch 1 just to make sure. Let's go into our user exec mode, let's do a show interface trunk just to verify. And here it is showing gig0 slash 2 is trunking, shows that it's up, but nothing about gig0 1. So let's go and let's show interface g0 slash 1. Line is up and is connected, but notice not a trunk. So let's hop over to our global configuration mode, configure terminal, navigate to that interface, G0 slash 1, switch port mode, trunk, so we can hard code it to a trunk, and we are now back up. Now let's go and exit out a few times, let's verify. Show interface trunk. 
Now we see both our trunk ports, both are trunking, both are on the correct VLAN. So now let's go ahead and ping PC1 to PC4. The first one timed out, but the second ones are good. Let's do it one more time just to make sure we're getting a solid response. Let's hop over to PC2, let's do the same thing. The first one, because it has to learn the MAC address, started the timeout. Alright, so we're going to have to double uh, check just to make sure that this VLAN is still set up correctly. Alright, so let's hop over back to the switch. Show VLAN. I'm going to resize my window a tad bit. So, PC2 FA18 should be on VLAN 20. And it is. So let's go ahead and let's double check its IP address. 20.22, that's right. So let's try ping in one more time. 20.25. Nothing on this end. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and go back to switch three. Let's look at the VLAN for switch three. Let's show VLAN. VLAN 20 is student and it is that appropriate port so that should be good let's double check our IP address just to make sure 172.17.20.25 that is right so let's try one last time alright so still having a tab a problem with this. So let's go and let's look at the interface. Show interface FA0 slash 18. Oh, notice it is down, it's disabled. That's why our pings are not working. So let's hop into our user exec from our user exec mode, let's hop over to our global configuration mode. Configure terminal conf t navigate to our interface FA 0 slash 18. Let's do a no shut so we can turn on the interface. Okay, so still some slight problems. Let's double check our physical media. Oh, this is supposed to be plugged into FA 18, but currently it's plugged into FA 0 17. Let's plug in to the correct port. Let's plug into FA18. Let's try pinging one more time just to see what's going on. It's trying. First one timed out, which that's again pretty normal. Let's see if the cable issue fixes itself. Okay, it started responding again. Let's try that one more time. Alright, we are good to go. PC2 can piece, ping PC5. That's one last PC from PC3 to PC6. And we are still good to go. Sometimes you have to make sure to check the physical wiring. Just because it says it's plugged into FA18 doesn't really mean it is. So with that, I want to thank you guys and have a great day.